What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bailey Wise and I'm back yet again with another POV drive and today I'm in my 2020 Z01 1 LE and I'm gonna give y'all a full walk around before we get into it and as you can see we bro got the Z01 in the middle of nowhere man but if you have never seen a Z01 1 LE man it's supercharged so you know I got supercharger wine I got the big intake big rotofab big go up on there so you know I'm hitting right so this is the Z01 1 LE it's a little bit different from your normal Z01 the difference is this is a more track oriented car so you can see it comes full stock like this it's going to come with your dive planes on the front bumper instead of side marker lights like little fog lights as you can see it's active bro it goes into the bumper right now i got a bunch of leaves in there but it actually comes through and the vent is back here man that's how you create your downforce and as you can see i've got a little bit different wheels on there than the normal zl ones these are going to be a bigger 305 on the front a bigger wheel it's going to be a little bit wider also the suspension is a little bit more track oriented under the hood as you can see you can adjust your suspension right here make it dialed in i don't know too much on all that i just drive it but it is a little bit dirty right now but the weather is kind of matching it so type also kind of makes the background look good but here is my zl1 1 le also if you have not watched my other video man i did mention i got wheels and tires on the way i've just been waiting for my wheels to come in but this ZL1 already does have a MBRP axle back exhaust. And I got nine lives on there. If you haven't watched my channel, I used to have a Hellcat charger before this car. So I license plate transferred, but the plate's too hard. Like I'm not giving it up. But here is a quick little walk around of the dirty ZL1. I'm about to hop in to the video. I'm gonna give y'all a POV drive through the hood, man. So yeah, it should call for a banger. Never drove the ZL1 there so we're gonna get some reactions who knows what's about to happen we're about to spin through it because i'm sure nothing like this has ever been through here especially where i'm at so if you haven't y'all go ahead like comment subscribe to your boy as you can see man i'm certified and also if y'all do know i love the cars so all the cars are like in a list bro i went hellcat i went zl1 and i'm 22 right now bro next car i'm either going gt3 or 570s let me know which one down below y'all like also if y'all did watch my last pov drive y'all check that out i also said i was doing a giveaway for a ai box that i was partnered with by one car stereo i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that one more time I did supply me with this smart ai box so if you did watch the last video just comment i'm going to extend it since a lot of people did not join figured i'll do another video comment right now giveaway on this video and the next or the previous pov drive video where i mentioned it comment giveaway and by the next video literally probably within two days i'll have another video check that video i'm going to be announcing the winner for the smart ai box it is apple carplay android auto pretty much you get in your car as you can see you can watch youtube you can watch netflix all that they partnered with me for free bro but they did give it to me right here smart ai box just use it i did do a demonstration in my previous video so if that is something you are interested in enter now bro it's 200 dollars and you have a chance to win it for free also check them link in the description if you do want to buy one because you did not win but you must have apple carplay this allows you to get in your car and just go straight to it no plugging in none of that also watch youtube videos so you can watch your boy anyway back to the video i'm going to be doing a pov drive so let's go ahead and start up the z01 1 le man also paired with the six speed manual i'm gonna be giving y'all a walk around of this car real quick let y'all hear it from the outside you know what i'm saying because y'all may never have heard a zl1 this is what it is sounding like right now it is warmed up so it's not too loud but yeah it's got a little exhaust when you're on it it is like super loud bro sounds really good also next i did mention since i do have wheels and tires here the next mod i'm, I'm planning on doing long tube headers and a tune so stay tuned man that is coming real soon just got to get my wheels on obviously now let's hop back into it man give y'all one little rev right here y'all can hear it sounds really good man sounds really crazy it's hard to beat the sound of this also my remote battery is dead but i'm about to be putting this thing straight in track mode man because i don't know y'all say sport but 
Quan, I've been watching your videos, bro, talking about putting the cat in sport. But I don't know. ZL1 feel mad delayed unless it's in track. So I'm going super secret mode, bro. Also, bro, I got like a weird glitch on mine. I don't know if this is normal in a ZL1, but it takes a little minute, bro. It like has a brain fart. I put it straight in race mode, like full competitive. Also, the ZL1s are a little bit different. Like I think all it does is probably change your reaction or delay time i don't know but we're gonna turn rev match on for y'all wondering why i got paddles turns rev match on so when i downshift oh where am i going worm body but whenever i actually let go of the gear you know like when you downshift i just put it in gear i don't have to give it any gas it automatically revs y'all will see that in this video but i'm about to go crazy in the zl1 for y'all and like I said, we are about to go through the hood, man. I usually ride my dirt bikes up through here, so they just don't know Big Bay in a in a ZL1 body. I almost drove off the whole curb, but yeah, see, man. Make sure I don't got nobody coming, cause type is catastrophic of a whip to see out of. But as you can see, we gonna go straight across. We made it successfully. I'm about to crack these windows. We about to enter the hood here, just in a little moment. Woo! Little first gear. <laughs> we gonna give them a cut up though. Gotta throw my red seatbelt on real quick because y'all know I didn't mean to go extra spikiwis on y'all boys, but as you can see, red seatbelts, the seats are crazy in these cars. The cats definitely, I don't know, right the interior. It's coming stock lights what color should i rock because right now i got purple but it comes fully stock like this bro keep in mind i haven't done anything to it all interior lights are normal also got cup holder lights on that joint so yeah it goes crazy stupid let me crack these windows for y'all so y'all can hear that supercharger a little bit and i should probably be getting five o'clock traffic too so this is going to be like five o'clock traffic video as well Uglass, bro, look like that GTA spawn character. <laughs> Lester Uglass. And I'm in a small city too, so this car has never probably ever came through here. Nothing like it, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying, it's probably not even like a hood hood like y'all probably expecting. Like this is just where I know I ride my bikes through and there's just a bunch of people around chilling on mopeds and shit, so. Probably no disrespect for the word use of hood, bro. Y'all know I just gotta get my thumbnail and my title type shit you feel me make that interaction go up very good know what i'm saying we about to that bit sounds like a hawk <laughs> yeah <laughs> the kids love it man that used to be us though you know what i'm saying you remember anybody watching that has a cool car now bro that you literally was us growing up I'm about to hit it for y'all boys here in a minute. Just got to get up on a, a place where it's safe. Don't know where the troops is at. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Got a little wine. What the fuck, boy? Boy came through going dumb. You know what I'm saying? Big 1LE POV drive. I'm about to downshift. Here we go. Three two, one. <laughs> Send. Y'all can hear the supercharger. The only thing is like the Hellcat supercharger is a lot louder. Like it whines more of like all throughout the RPMs. This one is type like only when you're on it. So it's like when you hear that thing, you better run boy because there ain't no coming back from this but we are about to enter as you can see we starting to get into a little more conspicuous area but nothing too crazy no turn on red so your boy gonna chill right here i usually ride my bikes through here so i'm kind of familiar with the area we about to get a little bit of reactions see what's happening out here maybe i'll give someone a ride type shit probably not but what you looking at <laughs> snatching off in it Mm -hmm. 
acting stupid in it and it's spinning too man i'm pretty sure once you go track mode in the one le i'm pretty sure it throws all your traction control off so this thing is just like a jet right now we got train tracks coming up coming up on the pier gas station the pier express never seen one of them you know what i'm saying they probably never seen a one le look at this big ulta unit wine station we coming up bro if i see someone else out here cutting up <laughs> you know let big tracky go imagine big hell caddy on i don't know what you're thinking we are but we on demon the road's terrible out here but y'all here we come in supercharging npc number one encounter we gonna spend like usually where i can i gotta find somebody bro like we gonna find some people reaction not gonna take the easy route through it so i'm about to spin real really where i ride at because that's where usually i get the best reactions type shit like right through here look at this look, we coming in as you can see we got chickens outside boy what the fuck twin we got boarded up cribs you know what i'm saying we going real big extra we gonna roll these windows up just so they don't think i'm putting them on like a documentation of like you know what i'm saying we got to be cool out here damn big dually mode appreciate you pill appreciate you pill he's like Damn, where we at, twin? Coming through, living lovely. <laughs> Coming outside with it. We got the graffiti right here. Yo, oh, he's smoking a dube stick. Smoking a dube stick out here. We just cutting up in your neighborhood, bro. My fault. Cutting up through here. Taking it through the city, man. We got a fucking forest fire over here on the side of the road. Like, is this legal? Anyway, I don't know why we got a forest fire out here, but y'all need to put that out. Oh, we got my boy right here. Look, broke that boy net. On gang. On gang. We coming through, though. We gonna spin back through. We coming, boy. Look. Bro, that boy net. Got his ugly line. Yeah, supercharger coming. Nah, I'm just kidding, bro. It's all love. I just like talking. Y'all know me, though. Through my videos. I'm just a funny guy. <laughs> Real funny. But... Look, we about to get taken out. No cow, boy. What the fuck? Real killer, man. Hold up. Sound too good. That's the good thing about manual. You can just rev this bit out. Sound good. Make sure my way is looking good. We're going to go left. Go right. I think we good. We coming through the big block now. Big granny panic. We coming through big boy. Now we ain't stopping, folk. <laughs> yeah, y'all finna let us come. Cause y'all know this is usually where I ride my bike and I usually get a lot of reactions, but I guess not today, man. Appreciate you, pill. Preach. Now I guess we coming up out of here really quick. It's really a small block, but you had to get the title and thumbnail. Y'all feel me, bro? Y'all know the game, boy. Y'all know really how the game be. Make sure we don't got nobody coming. Snatching up. And we coming up out of the hood now, but we got people coming down here walking the train tracks. 
This is that small town-ish, bro, for real. About to get over in case this boy, this boy gonna beam me. You know they want that insurance money, but no way. Look, old, old lady, boy. How ugly. But here we go. Get a jet POV. No interior. Under 70 bands. Look at this mean, bro. Really 60 band interior, probably now. Like, Hellcat not come with the carbon fiber dash. Come with the big radio, big tuba jets for the AC unit. You know what I'm feeling? Extra colder hot. And he's coming through. But, and you can change all your lights. I'm going to show you all that since I talk about it all the time. Look, ambient lighting. You got all these colors. I'm going to go, let's say, let's go, let's go red bean right now. Because, you feel me? Damn, look at this, bro. Is he about to jump that ish? I was finna say, boy, slow your ugly eyes down. We gonna come through downtown. Then we gonna spend downtown. Give y'all a, give y'all a downtown POV drive. You feel me? But if y'all do like the POV drives, y'all just let me know, man, because I'm definitely supplying the POV content. We got vlogmas coming up soon make sure they boy don't hit me we got vlogmas coming up soon and y'all know nobody ever finishes vlogmas so if y'all want to do i might do drive miss y'all know i think um i saw like Quan or vante or some shit like that they did that last year but no one ever completes vlogmas bro so if y'all want to see drive miss i'll do 25 days i'm gonna stop to on christmas or christmas eve or something like that you know what i'm saying i'll do drive miss bro i'll drive every day if that's something y'all want to see it may get repetitive because i'm not in a big city but if y'all do want to see drive miss let me know and i'll do that because i'm literally gonna i'm literally gonna do that like nobody ever completes it so i'm gonna pov drive i'll take y'all on a drive i'll try to like change it up go somewhere new maybe it'll be like 25 days of new or some shit you know what i'm saying but yeah man look at this we got cop blocker right there man but if y'all do want to see your boy do drive miss let me know down below we still got a couple days coming up but your boy can supply the videos i've already got hella videos in the booth but it may not all be drive videos like pov drives like probably a little bit of sprinkled other content in there because i got a lot of bike videos but pretty much vlog miss but i might do drive miss all on its own and make it just 25 days straight of car content that could be different i don't know but if y'all want vlog miss like actual vlog miss to where it's more than just driving it's a little bit of everything my bike stuff day in the life stuff the car stuff or just make it straight drive miss i don't know y'all let me know i feel like drive miss is gonna be like when y'all know the content is running out i'm going i'm going drive miss bro like i'm probably gonna take the easy way because it's hard to sometimes like when you're working the nine to five like i'm really coming up through the nine to five right now so like keep in mind chat if you're watching and you're like youtube is paying bro like i had to get my nine to five bag up and then I'm using my nine to five money, get my cars, turn the nine to five into a side business, turn the side business into like something you love. You feel me? And broke all in that. Yeah, you ain't getting out with that Ford Mustang, chump. But you know what I'm saying? Use your nine to five, bro. Ain't nothing wrong. Money is money, no matter if it's coming from YouTube, if it's coming from streaming, if it's coming from anything you love or nine to five, bro, unfortunately. 99% of the people watching this video are probably going nine to five to get their money. Also, nine to five, boost it, make it quicker, bro. Don't say fucking nine to five, you're too cool. Just get your money up, make your process faster. Like literally, bro, you know how long, unless you got one of those spectacular blow up plans, like you know you're going viral or you're already viral or you know some people go crazy. Like I'm not gonna lie, maybe in under a year type-ish. Well, bro, I've been doing YouTube for like two years really if y'all want to see a video of me breaking down my income and how long it's taken me and my stats and everything of like two years consistently bro i'm not talking like one video every six months bro i'm talking like i'm doing at least one week or two videos a week probably the last year and a half i've really stepped up my grind this year making it almost like four videos a week i think that's pretty much like free game right now i think four videos a week minimum bro if you want to even be have a chance in this space i think you got to go four videos a week bro minimum like what is bro doing oh where am i body at boy there's the the content right now is like 
very hard to make original content, you know what I'm saying? So, it's hard to make original content. Sorry, I had to go stupid for y'all under the bridge. And um, you just gotta be yourself at the end of the day. You know, if you're trying to copy your favorite YouTuber and you're trying to do what they do, bro, do it like how you would do it. You know what I'm saying? The thing that makes watching that YouTuber fun for you is because it's they're their own person. Imagine if you got on YouTube and imagine if you got on YouTube and everybody sounded the same, talked the same, everybody drove the same whips, everybody looked the same, you know, same lingo. It's not going to make you want to watch a certain YouTuber over another certain YouTuber. Like, I guess we got five o'clock downtown traffic. So y'all sit through that with me. But as you can see, the thing that makes you different from your favorite YouTuber, look at this boy, like trying not to check out the whip. Look at you, bro. I got you on camera. Oh, I got you. I got you. Ugly. <laughs> but the thing that makes you different from everybody else, man, is you're yourself. You're different. Even if you got one YouTuber with a Hellcat and you watch another YouTuber with a Hellcat, bro, you may like one other the other versus when I had a Hellcat, y'all may not have rocked with me. Also, that could have been because like I didn't know what I was doing. I was botting out. I wasn't in my prime. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming up now. I'm starting not to be as awkward on camera. I'm starting to be able to fluid conversate with myself because y'all got to think, bro, it's hard to conversate with yourself. And you go through a lot of times in making YouTube videos in your grind, bro. If y'all scroll back to all the way, like when I first came up, some of those videos, bro, they're not good. It's really short. Quality is not good. I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. And it seemed like those views do better than nowadays i don't know it's weird like how it works but i think maybe it's just because i don't know youtube's weird like you may post a video today and in two years down the road it blows up and gets 100k like i've got videos that have hella views didn't even try update it looked like an hd potato and they got still to this day the most views i've ever had on a youtube video and like right now i'm in a nicer car more expensive car i'm talking better and that just shows y'all right there like the who knows what makes you bro you know what i'm saying like i think the only way that you can be guaranteed success like there's still somebody i could hop into mclaren right now a svj anybody's dream car hop on here make content and still not go nowhere bro you got to evolve into being your own person you can't watch these numbers like a lot of these people say it's real shit bro i've been doing it for like two years two and a half years and to this day like I'm like, damn, where's my progress, bro? Or sometimes it gets hard. I'm like, damn, bro, this shit, is this shit really going to work for me? Am I wasting time? But everybody's going to go through that. It's normal, bro. So don't try to be hard on yourself. Like, it's just a normal life and you can't control your path, bro. All we see is our path from here to our destination. And God's plan for us is here. A couple dips. It's all a good, like, picture the other day that just perfectly explained it. it you know what I'm saying? <laughs> explained it. It is crazy, but like i saw a video that was um it showed like our plan and it's like here like pretty much across the street you know what i'm saying straight line and it's like treasures right there that's like literally what we want but you got to think if life was like that like none of these people bro would probably pick living here none of these people would pick that car like there probably is still people like take it for granted bro or sorry don't take it for granted whatever that means but there's still people out here that are like gonna have all the money in the world and still pick a camera you know what i'm saying but that's not what i'm saying like you know there's something in that person's life and that person's life and that person's life and that person's life in my life in that bot's life the person that owns that building's life that they like would change about their life everybody has one thing that they would change and it's like unfortunately like you can't have a perfect life but you can strive as hard as you can and maybe they wanted something and most of the time it's like people lose interest in themselves when they go like this five years straight out of high school like y'all got to think if you're watching me i don't know what audience i got how old y'all boys are but i'm 22 you know what i'm saying so like i'm 22 and it's like what i enjoy versus what i enjoyed at 19 and even throughout high school is like hold on bro i'm going down this way you feel me?